Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. <laughs> Sorry, it was like a, I don't know if you guys heard, they probably didn't, it was like a chicken. As soon as I said that, it was like a chicken started going cluck cluck. Anyways, well, I guess that was a sign of things to come because uh, today's episode, we're going to be talking about toxicity and toxic situations, toxic people, and so on and so forth. Um, well, the reason I'm kind of bringing this up is just because uh, I myself had a experience, you know, with that today, and uh, I figured, you know what, instead of uh, bothering somebody else with certain things and like venting, what I could do is that like I could just, uh, you know, talk to you guys about it and uh, share this experience. So that way we can all maybe learn together and so on and so forth. Look at all that traffic. So to start with, it's already over three o'clock. Very unproductive day because I was dealing with this situation. As you guys can tell already from the time of the day, I'm trying to hurry up. I gotta go run some errands. And as um, soon as I run these errands, um, you know, I can come back and get to work because I have a lot of shit to do. I gotta like turn a video in today. I'm like so behind. And uh, you know, the way I choose to look at situations like this um, is that even though it was very unproductive in a weird way, it was very productive because it's like uh, trimming the fat, you know, getting rid of uh, toxic situations, toxic uh, stuff that is not really helping one way or the other, but doing the opposite. So, you know, sometimes the whole thing about toxic people, we don't even know that we are around toxic people or are in the toxic situation sometimes. And um, that's, what it makes it, that's what makes it so hard sometimes for us to even realize what's going on. And uh, if we're even in a toxic situation to begin with. And uh, again, um, everyone has a very different definition as to what toxic means. And, um, you know, to me, you know, one of the definitions is something that sucks up your time and is unproductive. One, and that's it. That's pretty, pretty much it. And, um, you know, just to be frank, you know, like I've, um, what happened today was something that was uh, kind of like uh, stewing for, for a little while. Not with me. Not with me per se, but just uh, in general. And um, it kind of like overboiled. And um, it's just so funny how it is. Like, um, I'm just giving you thoughts off of my head. I'm just walking and talking, all right? And we're just gonna go with the flow here. But, so for example, in the last like about four weeks now, I have uh, had, no time on the weekends at all because um, I'm with somebody now and things are fucking going great. They're going marvelous. They're, you know, beyond amazing. And um, I have less and less time every day to dedicate to things. And um, that's something that I struggle with sometimes, some of these days. And um, so far it's actually worked pretty good in, in my favor because, um, I don't know, I, I think it has. I just think, you know, I've been making pretty good videos the last couple weeks. This is my opinion, you know. Um, I don't know what you guys think, <laughs> but whatever, you know, um, you know, outside of the windsock uh, situation, you know, but <laughs> other than the windsock situation, you know, I think we're doing pretty good, but, uh, <laughs> but anyways, um, you know, that, and then coupled with other things, you know, like for example, my own family, you know, I, we all have family, you know what I mean? We all got family situations, good, bad in between. And all of a sudden now, you know, like uh, again, in the last like little bit of time, I've been having uh, a really good situation with my family and stuff. So that's, you know, been really good and worked in my favor as well. But with that being said, that's also eating up more of my time. Plus, I've been getting a lot more work. It's eating up more time and, uh, and many more things. A lot of things that are eating up my time. And so then, the conundrum comes when you have a lot of things starting to eat up your time you got to start deciding well you you know again what we were talking about not too long ago where we got to eliminate some of our things and needs eliminate some of the situations whatever 
So, you know, I, obviously I needed to make room in my life, you know, in order to make, you know, to, to you know, to add these uh, extra things that are coming into my life. And so I wasn't, you know, I had to make the decision. What am I going to sacrifice? So right off the bat, right, let me see the sun. Uh, no matter where I go, the sun's going to be, well, I got to get on that street anyway, talking to myself. All right. He's like, what am I going to sacrifice? What, are the, what is uh, one of the things, one of the main things I'm probably going to sacrifice here? Let's, let me see if I can cross over here without fucking eating it. All right, hold on. So, all right, we got it. What am I going to sacrifice? So, I wasn't going to sacrifice making these videos. I wasn't going to sacrifice going live. I wasn't going to sacrifice my clients. I wasn't gonna sacrifice my family. I wasn't gonna sacrifice my, you know, um, my weekends, <laughs> you know, for now and all that shit. So, you know, all of a sudden I was like, damn, what am I, I mean, what am I gonna do? Because I don't have much to sacrifice per se. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, um, things happen, you know, things happen. Oh, pretty cool, pretty cool. ¿Qué cosa es eso? Ah, es una máquina para medir la temperatura y el clima del ambiente. Wow, wow. Cool, se ve bien cool. <laughs> cool, that's the thing to measure the weather. It's like a weather station machine thingy. Sorry, I just had to take a look real quick for you guys. So anyway, so I was like, damn, what am I going to eliminate? What am I going to... So on and so forth. So, again, if you are on your path, if you're doing what you need to be doing, you know, a lot of things, you know, again, what I say about, you know, putting your head down, getting to work and all that shit, um... This is all part of it, you know, again, right now, as you guys saw, like, you know, I have all these, this situation here, and I had to f figure out, what am I going to do? How am I going to, you know, get rid of stuff? What, what is there to get rid of? And sure enough, the universe does it for me. And should I go through here? Let me, let me go to that next, next block. Next block. Sorry, I'm trying to walk and chew gum at the same time. So... Then all of a sudden, there were things in my life that were eating up my time that I might have been aware of, I might not have been aware of, but the point is that all of a sudden, these are the things that somehow started becoming scarce and uh, they started becoming a problem and uh, they started to stick out like a sore thumb and uh, it all started just, you know, pop like a pimple today, literally. And... Um, you know, again, you know, because I am on my path, I'm doing all these things that I want to be doing. I, I know where I'm going. Um, I understand the situation. I'm, I'm having a lot of good fortune in every other direction. I, I don't really question this much, you know? Sure. It's kind of sucky to see certain people go. It's kind of shitty. You know, certain things have to happen a certain way. But I can't control these things. Remember, it's all about control. You can only control yourself. You cannot control others. You can't control their actions. You can't control anything. All you can do is how you react to them and their, you know, whatever they do. And that's it. And, you know, that's it. I mean, I really, there's not much else to say. I mean, there's a lot, I mean, there's, there's always a lot to say, right? But, you know, at the end of the day, you know, this is okay. Let's talk about the you know the whole universe thing and uh, and how you know this toxicity situation. How it's it, it like eliminated itself. So, so for example, again, you're on the right path. You know what you're doing. You know where you're going. You know what you want. You don't know exactly how to get it, but see, look again. This is all part of the how the universe helps guide you and helps do things. You know what I mean? Helps you you know get there without you knowing exactly what's going on per se so a lot of times when a lot of people get stuck with uh you know doing what they want to do or going on the path they want to go on and so on and so forth what, what what tends to stop them most of the time is the fact that they don't have it all planned out they don't know how they're going to get there they don't know how they're going to do it they don't know how this whole thing is going to you know materialize instead of just having faith in themselves having faith in the universe having faith you know and and, and everything like that and uh and by doing so then you know when things happen you you just understand so again even though 
what happened today was kind of sucky. And what was happening in the last several days was kind of sucky. Um, like it can happen to anybody, you know what I mean? With personal relationships, work relationships, any kind of relationship. Um, you gotta move on, you know? I mean, it's as simple as that, you know what I mean? Like if, because of this situation, I've gained even more relationships and things and, and more things have opened up in so many more other directions so it's about looking at the totality of everything and that's it and just uh trusting yourself trusting the universe trusting that you know you you are on the right path and uh whatever that path may be again at least for me personally as everything was materializing as things were starting to get from bad to worse with uh, certain individuals again you know what what can i do about that there's nothing you can do you know all you i mean all i can do is just sit back and be like well i guess this is all happening for a reason and then just you know coming to making peace with that fact you know making peace with the fact in the sense of like well again you know what i mean just everything that i was just saying in the sense of like well why is this taking place well this is taking place because again you know more room needs to be made in my life and for more important things instead of maybe procrastinating and eating shit and having fun on the side doing um, some non-productive things those things eliminated themselves from my universe without me having to do it so that my time my very finite time can be focused on my girl my family my friends my work my work my art my work my art you know and uh fun happiness enjoyment and all that shit see look i mean look i, I don't even want to like right there how many times have i almost kind of like tripped and yet i haven't really tripped you know why again the universe is probably looking out for my dumb ass and all that stuff so yeah the universe and again some people say god acts in, mater in mysterious ways others say it's a universe others you know everyone has their the way of explaining these things but you know at the end of the day you have to you have to look at this guy oranges orange juice yummy but at the end of the day you're the one that has to put in that work you're the one that has to do it you're the one that has to make it happen and um it's it's very complicated equation i apologize for the train go by train tracks on here and it's a very complicated equation that has a lot of uh, complicated parts to it. But the point is, it's a lot easier to follow this if you know where you're going. And again, you don't have to have the exact map, Google Maps, you know, to, to where you're going. You just got to know the end destination. As long as you know the end destination and you know the direction, that's it. Just follow, you know, just follow the, the path. Follow, follow the magnet, follow whatever it is, you know? And it, it will guide you. I mean, seriously, as simple as that. I mean, I, don't, I mean, it's not as, that complicated. So with everything that happened um, out there in the community, and again, and, you know, this isn't really something that was affecting my community per se. It was just, um, just randomness, you know, that kind of happened and, uh, Sometimes that's how life is, you know, sometimes shit happens. Sometimes life is very random <laughs> and you gotta roll with the punches and uh, keep going and that's it and just hope for the best. And at the end of the day, look, I mean, we've all had those situations with individuals in which things are, get sour, things don't, don't, things are not, you know, what they used to be. And then with time, with time, with patience, with love, with effort, and all this other shit, things go back to what they used to be. Sometimes they don't, sometimes they do. But, as they say in, uh, in France, c'est la vie, right? C'est la vie. All right, well, all right guys, I'm here at my first destination, so I'm gonna let you guys go, and uh, I'll catch you guys, I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit, guys, all right? It was an awesome episode, good talk. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share. And um, I'll see you guys manana.